bless the Lord. Hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. All I want to do is say thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you He's high and lifted up. Hallelujah. Yes, he, is. he is a mighty God. Hallelujah. We just come Hallelujah. giving him glory. Hallelujah. If it had not been for him on our side, where would we be? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just come before you to bring a word from the Lord, and I thank Pastor for this opportunity, and I thank my Lord and Savior for being um, allowing me to be a willing vessel to be used by Him. Amen. 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 And um, I hope this word will edify someone's soul today, Amen. if not in here, but um, in Facebook land. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to the throne of grace and lift up his name. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, I come before you, Lord God, as an empty vessel, Lord God, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Asking you, Holy Spirit, to take full control of my over this vessel right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let me not speak nothing that's not of you, Lord God, but all of you, the Holy Spirit will speak through me in the yes. name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted to yes. you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, yes, that it will edify, it will upbuild, that it will encourage somebody yes, today yes. that they will want to come to you, Lord God, yes, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Father God, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise in yes, Jesus' yes, name. Jesus. Amen. 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 I don't know who this is for, but I just got to say it because the Lord had me torn with it all night long. And it must have, um, if it's not for someone in here, it's got to be somebody on Facebook or someone. But God want to give you that inner peace. Yeah. You know, someone is going through a whole lot. Mm. Well, we all are going through. Amen. But we look at the world today. Well, the world is going, we have lost loved ones. And we, wanna, we don't understand it. We have got chaos going on in our family members. We have children going astray. We have a lot of things that's going on in the in the government system and all, and our mind is bogged down with everything. But God was laying on my heart today that He somebody needs some peace. Yeah. Somebody yeah. needs some peace that surpasses yeah. your understanding. Right. You've been you just you you don't you got a little doubt in there that God Amen. that um God won't work this situation out. Yeah. But I'm here today to come and let you know that he will work it out. Yes, he and you want to let somebody is in a situation today that they don't, they in a situation, I don't know if they got to go to court, I don't know what they got to do, but they torn with it. They don't know how they're going to come out with it. But I want to let you know today, God said he's going to give you that peace with it. Even right. if he don't go out the way that you want it to go out, right. he's going to give you peace with it. In the name of Jesus. He's going to be in the midst of that yeah. situation. Yeah. He's going to be in the midst of that storm. Yes. He want to let you know today that he's not going to leave you. Yes. He's going to be with you through that trial. Amen. Yes. Amen. Just trust and believe him. Amen. Amen. And Deacon Carthen played the song. That was our, he preached the message. But God, that was his confirmation. Um, my topic today is God will keep you in perfect peace. Amen. He will. Amen. He will keep you in per yes, perfect he peace. And our message today will be coming from Isaiah 26, 1 through 4. Amen. That's Isaiah. What um, that's 26 1 through 4, One through four. <clears throat> Amen Amen, do we want to have it? Yeah, 26, that's 1 through 4. And then read, I'll be reading from the New King James. Mine might read a little different, but this is read the Willis. And it reads, in that day, let me see, yeah. In, the, in that day, this song will be a song in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God will appoint salvation for the wall and the boardwalk. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keep the truth may enter in. You will keep 
him, um, you would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. All right. Because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yahweh, the Lord is everlasting, everlasting strength. And our main scripture is going to be, you will, you will keep him in perfect peace. All right. His mind is stayed on him. All right. Amen. Amen. So we know last week we talked about renewing the mind. And God is continuing to deal with me with that mind thing. We got to get our mind stayed on him. Amen. 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 Yes. And he want to give. And we know that the, um, the fruits of the spirit is one. Um, peace is one of the fruits of the yes. spirit. Yes. But some of us, we can't operate in the fruits of the spirit because it's so, because um, our inner man is so clouded with things mm. of the world. Right. And God want to know, let us know that peace. He can give you that inner peace yes. if you trust in him. Yes. Amen. Amen. So in these um in this um Isaiah was talking about in um these days, um the prophet Isaiah rehearsed a song of trust in, in the provision of God, who will once again walk in the righteous and um peace after the coming judgment for their sins. A day when dawn where Israel will be redeemed and restored, and they and and the wall will um and will walk in the path of righteousness and be covered with a God's blanket of peace. Yes. When the eyes of the hearts focus on the Lord, his perfect peace steals the soul and the blood of the heart. Amen. Amen. So that's to us today as the true church. For us Christians today, if our thoughts, if our hearts are on Christ Jesus, our heart would be flooded with that perfect peace. Yes. Thank you. You know, because our inner peace, God want to give us that inner peace. Yes. Yes. You know, the world want us to keep looking at that outer peace. That's the outer right. peace that things mm -hmm. will comfort us, you know. Uh -huh. Things, um, material things, like um, the, in the, even in the... Um, World today, you know, they got paying a picture, big picture cars and monies and political things that everything that, that's looking good, you know, but God wants us to have that inner peace. That's right. To dig inside of us to know that, to have that, that uh, unction that you know, that you know that he got it. That's right. Yes. Yeah. You know, even though I'm going through this situation, even though I'm going through this circumstance, yeah. but I know God... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give me that peace that surpasses yes. all yes. that I'm right. saying, and I'm gonna trust Him through it. Yes. That's part of giving it all to Him. Yes. Yes. yes, you can give it to Him and and leave it there. Yes. But some of us, we we're pulling, we're tugging with Him because we're not sure about our inner peace with Him. Yeah, that's right. We're not sure that um. So we put other things in the place of that peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we put other things in the place of peace. But Isaiah 26 and 3 says, peace is possible even in our stressful, troubled world. No matter what you are going through, when you stay focused on Jesus, nothing can stop your peace. So like we said, with our mind, we got to focus on Jesus. Our the thought process has to be on him. And his word said, be anxious for nothing, nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication right. with thanksgiving, yes. let your requests be known yes. to um, God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, mm. will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. That's right. Yes, and like I was saying that some people chase after peace and um, and a peace of mind and worthy, worthy achievement, such as wealth, um, good circumstances, um, um, their job, their education, or other things they find their peace in. But God wants us to find that inner peace within Him, knowing that He's going to work everything out. Amen. Yes, yes. And that He is our Creator, and that He did send His Son Jesus to die on the cross for us. And Jesus said, told His disciples that with you I will leave peace. That's right. Yes, He will. I will leave you peace, even in the midst of when He um. When he had the disciples and they was in the storm and um they in the boat and the storm came, Jesus was down there chilling in the boat. Yes. You know, he, had, he was tired and he was resting. Yes. And the disciple was like, 
Um, Jesus, Jesus, it's a storm, but we need you at this time. Jesus said, um, God, up, he said, peace be still. Amen. Yes, you got to have that faith that yes. we can do that same thing like Jesus did. You have that peace, that inner peace that everything's going to work out for our good. That's right. That's yes. Right. That's right. Everything going to work out for our good. Yes. God, who alone is perfect, is the only reliable source of peace. Peace, peace is that inner state of well-being and calm. You are more equipped to let it flow in order to um and, and um let it flow. It won't flow like living so living water. Yes, we have yes. to fix our mind on God. Yes. Isaiah 26 says that God peace to those whose mind are stayed on us. In yes. other words, peace comes when we remember God's scripture. Mm -hmm. It tells us. Um, God was always faithful to us. Yes. He would never leave us or bend us. Mm -hmm. He is always, right he will always sustain us. Yes. He is, he loved us. He is the good shepherd. Uh -huh. yes. Even when we're going through the storm, yes. God is faithful. Yes. He has, our, um, he has promised our, us to do us good and yes. in the midst of the storm. Yes. So when we go through that storm, don't look at the situation. Look uh -huh. to Jesus that That's right. he got this He got this situation. Because right. yes. right. his word said that trials and tribulations are going to come. Yes. He said, oh, come, come to me, all who are heavy and laden. Come to me and learn of me. Yes. Take upon my yoke. My yoke is easy. Yes. And he's uh, he going to help you. He yeah. not, it's not like he's going to get you out of it at that same time, but he's going to help you be yeah. able to yeah. go through, and go through that trial. Yeah. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. All right, all right. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Romans 8 and, tw um, 8 and 38 and 39 said, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor yes. angel nor principality nor yeah. power nor things yeah. to come nor height or depth nor That's or right. any creation thing shall be That's able right. to separate right. us yeah. from That's the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank this you, Lord. is simply, this is the simply truth that we are not strong enough to bear our own burdens on our own. We need God himself yes. to bear our burdens yes. for us. Thank you, Lord. We need him to help us. We need you, Lord. Yes. We must cast our cares upon him. Peter says, um, before um, uh, Peter, uh, verse Peter 5 and 6 and 7 says, Before him, humble yourself unto the mighty hands of God, that he might exalt you in due time, casting your cares upon yes. him. For he cares for you. He cares for you. Yes. We have to cast them cares upon him. Yes. We got to humble ourselves. Right. Realizing that we can't do nothing without That's him. Right. Come humbly to yes. him alone. Yes, and I'm um, broken with a contract um, um, spirit. Come to him low yes. and um, surrender to him. Yes. Letting him know that, Lord, I can't do this without you. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank we you. got to get that inner peace. Because that's what the enemy wants us to keep our self in a self-made prison or bondage that God don't care nothing about us. God is not going to fix us or we got um, the anxiety, fear. We have uh, so many of our children, our, this, Joshua, this Joshua generation, so many of our kids are dealing with mental illness. That's a spirit that's not from God. That's right. Yes. That's they're right. torn with this. Yes. Yeah. Not only them, the other people, it's people in our yes. family members that's that we're right. dealing with that. We don't know how to handle it. Right. Yes, but he yeah. does. That's right. Yes, but we need to be able to be able to have that peace that God's going to fix it and he's yes. going to work it out. Yes. Yes. Yes, but we have to keep our minds stayed on him. Yes. And uh, let him be able to read direct our minds and take the focus off our circumstances and look at um, the faith in the Lord of, and yes. his word. Yes. When your mind is steadfast, it means that it's firm, fixed, and unwavering focus on the Lord. Yes. It means that you are fully leaning and trusting on God. Yes. We got to trust in him. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. We got to trust in him. Peace of Jesus takes away fear. Mm. It takes away fear when we have that peace, that inner peace. It yes. takes away confusion. 
It takes away worry and anxiety. Yes. It gives us a safety that we are looking for. Yes. His peace set our mind at ease and give us a safe place in him. Yes. Yes. Give us a safe place Thank you, Lord. in him. That's right. Yes. We should be at that peace. That peace that he wants is like when all chaos and everything is going wrong, we should be able to sit in a calm place. And let it not even affect us. That's right. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's the peace that we should be able to operate in. I, uh, for example, I remember when I um, first got saved, this guy, he gave his testimony. And he was saying that he had got out of um, prison. Well, he was in prison at the time, and he had been locked up. But when he found Jesus, he found Jesus in jail. But when he found Jesus, they was at the, he was in the lunchroom, you know, where they eat and stuff. And chaos broke out. And they was fighting and throwing stuff. But in the midst of all that, he was sitting there eating his food. Because he had that. He found Jesus. And he found that in a yeah, And that's what God wants us to do. Yeah. That's what he yeah. wants. He found that in a piece. Yeah. He said he found the inner peace, and then everybody after he was so calm, they were throwing stuff. He would just continue to eat. I guess they thought about it and started looking at him. <laughs> like, man, how can he just sit him and all this going on? Peace. peace. That's peace. Yes. Amen. And some of us, we don't have peace even in our household. Yeah. We don't have peace because our kids want to, our kids are going astray. They're repping, um, you know, chaos. is yeah. always something going yeah. on. Yeah. We need that peace. Yes. Yes. And the world don't want us to have that peace, even on our jobs. We're all around chaos with our job. But we got to keep our minds on Jesus. Yes. That we will have that inner peace. That, that it won't even affect us. Yes. yes. God is so good, y'all. Yes, yes. And Colossians 3 and 15 said, And let the peace of God rule in your heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we stand in the way of our own peace of mind. Uh -huh. yeah. We do. Yeah. We allow stress yeah. to rule our life without yeah. even realizing it. Yeah. We, we do. We allow yes. it to rule yes. our life. Yes. And God's word said, we can't get, we can't go over, we can't go under. We're going to have trials and tribulation. He's going to help us do that. Yeah. Sickness is going to be on the earth. It's going to be disease on this earth. Everyone is not going to be for Jesus, but we can. Yeah. He's going to give us that peace yes. that surpasses our understanding. Because yeah. we're not of this world. We right. just pure yeah. passing through. Yeah. We got to keep our mind kingdom minded. Uh -huh. Yes, this is yes. not our home. We can't get caught up here yes. with the things of the world. Yes. And yes. that's what the enemy has been doing. He's making the world a delusion, everything. The Christian wanted the believers is we don't got entangled with the world. Uh -huh. We got to come off it said come up off and among that. Yes. We got to be separated from uh -huh. that. You can't have no peace when you agree with what the world is doing. How are you gonna have peace? Because you're going to be in doubt. Well, if you ain't in your word, you're going to be like, well, it do sound like it's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Teach. It do sound at all. Um, because the enemy will take one word of God's yes. word yes. and he'll yes. twist it that you would think it's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you don't allow the Holy Spirit to teach you that, yes. you will be thinking that that same way. Yeah. Amen. That's why God wants us to have that peace and get in a calm place. Yes. Calm place and just learn from him and just sit with him. And he will teach us, sharpen our discernment, to let us know what's right or wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because we're in a time, y'all, that we got to be separated. We're in a time that the world don't even know the difference from the believers. Come on, now. Come on. They don't know the difference. Come on. Yes. Preach. Because we don't really, when we go out there to talk to them, we don't know what to say to them. Because yeah, we Lord. agree with them. Yeah, help us, Lord. Come on. Now. Yes. We agree with what they're doing. Yes. And it's all right, but we can give them a word of encouragement to lift them up. But yeah. let them see that Jesus in us. Yes. That's right. Yes. 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 Amen. Because I'm letting you know when it comes to a time, we're not going to be in here all the time. We got to go out there. And get among them. That's right. We got to be among them. And they're going to know. 
they don't know if, if, if they, is she really living for, for um, the Lord or is she something different about her? She got that calm with her. But are we going to be able to listen to what they're going through or be able to minister and draw them to the Lord? Yeah. So her mind got to be on this, totally focused on Jesus. Yes. Totally Amen. focused on Jesus. Amen. Totally. That we won't compromise with what the enemy wants us to do. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we want to ask the Lord to give us that peace. That's yes. peace that yes. yes. our, yes. our, right. our un, 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 understanding. Yes. Even in our household. Yes. It might not even be in your household, but it's in somebody's household. Yes. Yes. Even in Facebook land. It's, yes. um, it's, it's, it's all on the TV. Yes. We're going through it. Mass shootings going on right. racking our world. Yeah. Um, our children get molested right there in front of us. Our kids' games are killing one another. We see it and yeah. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help. Yeah. Help us, Lord. To be able to have that that calm and peace to pray and lift it up to God. Yes, That's what it, um Isaiah was saying for the people of um for um, the Israel. The enemy was attacking them on both hands, but the enemy um um Israel was just like us. They wanted to do their thing. So they couldn't hear from God, you know, because they yeah. always they, yeah. they put something else before them. They go put that pagan stuff before them. Uh, yes. I don't want to before them. Yeah. And that's the same thing we're doing. Yeah. 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 Right. Putting idol workers in, uh, when the, uh, putting laws and things before God. Yeah. When we know it ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. Know it ain't right. yeah. And so they got caught up just like we all got caught up. Uh -huh. Yeah. But we ask God to help us today yes. and give help us peace. Lord. Even when we look at that news and we see all that stuff going on, yes, Lord. don't let that get in your spirit. Amen. Know who sides you on. Yes. Know who's gonna win the battle. Yes. Know who's gonna get the victory. Yes. Yes. It's already won. Let know who's gonna win the victory. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Right. And know that He can bring us out victorious. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 But we need that peace, y'all. Yes. We need that peace to be able to stand in the gap and tell someone else. Because this dying world don't have it. They don't have peace. Uh -huh. They don't have that peace. Right. And if they can't see it in us and we can't be an example of that peace, right. how how can they know about it? Uh -huh. right. That's right. That's good. They ain't going to be able to. Uh -huh. So the fruits of the Spirit, that's one of our fruits Amen. to operate in. Yes. That peace. Uh -huh. So Lord, give me that peace. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Even with a, um, a decision that we have to make. Don't trust God. Cling to Him. Know that He's gonna bring you out that situation. That's right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Even Thank though you. I'm sure Jesus had some he um had some doubt about the cross, but he said what he told him. He told his father, Not my will, but your will be done. That's right. Yes. 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 I'm sure that fear tried to come in on him. Yes. But he yes. knows his purpose and his plan. Yes. That he had to go down that cross for us. Yes. And um yes. he know had his purpose that his father had for him. Yes. And that's what he um had to do. So that's how we got to know. We got to know our purpose that what's the purpose that we're here? What the purpose for us? Or are we here just to exist or do God have a purpose and a plan for our life? Yes. Ask God to let you tap into your purpose today. Yes. Yes. It's a purpose that we're here. We're not here just to exist. You're not here. You up, you're you here to be a light, a witness to someone else. Yes. yes. That God brought you out that he'll bring um, that person out. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes. That's why we're here. Yes. To encourage somebody and let them know that you won't have to wrestle with your mind. God can give you perfect peace. He can give you that inner Amen. peace. Allow him to dig inside of you and pull out yes. everything yes. that's in you that's not pleasing to him. Yes. Allow him to do that. Humble yourself. Yes. A lot of us don't want to humble ourselves because humble to take us low. Yes. We got to go down to a low place yes. for God to lift us back up. Yes. So we yes. got to do that. Yes. We got to stay low. Right. Everyone in the Bible that came to God, they was in a low place. That's right. They went out. The only one that was already up was the Pharisees and the Pharisee code. Yeah. They thought they knew everything. That's right. Yes. Yes. But a lot of one that the ones that Jesus healed, they was in a low place. Mm -hmm. Yes. That God can operate in us today. Yes. So we just want to have that peace, that that inner inner peace. Yes. Yes. 
Well, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstance it is, don't even matter what the outcome it is. I got peace about it. Yes. Now, some of us got family members that's on that bed affliction, that's dealing with um, cancer and different things. But ask God to give you peace. Yes. 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 Ask God to give you peace. Yes. And if they don't know the Lord in that situation, ask the Lord, you be that light. And you go to him and say, have you accepted the Lord as your personal Savior? Yes. And then you will be at, you have that inner peace. I know that my family member made it in. Yes. I know that he made it in. Yes. Sir. Yes. yes. But we need that inner peace yes. with God. When the enemy want to keep us bound down with fear. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fear is nothing but the enemy is trying to keep us in depression mm -hmm. and doubt. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. That God is that God is not who He says He is, yep. but He is a lie. Yes, right. Faith and fear cannot operate in the it's same house. Right. Yes. Right. So we know that fear gonna come. We all deal with fear. I be before I get up here, I deal with fear. You see what I'm saying? But I know to speak that word over me. That's right. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but He has gave me power and sound mind. That's right. Yes. That's right. So we have to use the word. To combat the devil, um, combat with the devil. Amen. 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 I hope this word encouraged someone today that we will ask God, even on our journey journey this week, to let me sit in your presence. Yes. With that inner peace. Yes, Lord. Search my soul, Lord God. Search my heart. Yes. Lord. And if it's any thing that's hindering me from or distraction that's keeping me to get yes. closer to you yes, Lord. I ask you Lord God to help me with it yes. and continue it starts right here y'all with our mind yes. our mind that's the main thing God was just been dealing with me about is my mind yes. because it's what was what, what we put in this thing that's why the, the um the um Ephesians say, put on the whole arm of God. Oh, right. We got to guard this mind, y'all. Yes. Yes, we have to guard it. Because if you don't guard it, that's where those spirits come from. Mm -hmm. A lot of people dealing with mental illness, it is real. Yes, it is. It is real. It's yes. not nothing to play with. That's right. Depression. I know. I've been depressed before. And the, when you're depressed, you don't, you can't even speak Jesus' name. Because your, your, that, Flesh or whatever don't want you to. Say it. Oh, that's right. It's hard. Yes. Yeah, when you're in that that, that um that's bondage. Yeah. yeah. That's bondage. But we want to be set free. Yes. Totally. Yes. In our mind. Yes. And in our soul. Yes. That we can serve God freely. And that we will be able to help someone else along yes. the way. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 So I ask you today, today, just ask God to open up my heart, Lord, to accept you, Lord God, to give me a chance to operate in that peace that surpasses all understanding. We can't even understand that peace, but God can. It's so it's so powerful. It's that calmness. Even when things are not going our way. Yes. But God, you know, we need it. Yes, you know. Lord, we need it. Even, Lord God, with um, <coughs> situations, Lord God, that comes up in our life, Lord God, that the enemy want us to stay bound with, Lord God. Give us that peace that it's going to be all right. Yes. Because one thing about a storm, it don't last all way. A storm don't last all way. It, it comes and it goes. So let, um, let um, God let us know today that we can we don't have to stay in that same situation that we're in. We can give it to you. That's right. In Jesus' name.